When Bernard Fanning was on this program, he was speaking to Drive last week and he complained about the lack of musicians prepared to tackle political issues. And uh, so I'm very pleased to welcome Susan Craig, the singer, and Mark Simpkin, the lead guitarist, and they're in a band called Moss. Um, well, Susie, it was, it was good of you. Good afternoon, to, uh, and yeah. thank you so much for, for taking an interest in our band. That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, and um, can you start by telling us about the band Moss? I mean, uh, when I heard it, I immediately thought, has it got something to do with the famous Ian Moss? No, no we, we get that. We yeah. get asked that all the time, and I wish I could give you a really interesting rationale behind the name, but there isn't. It's, there isn't. It was just Moss. No. Well, and, I'm uh, a Rolling Stones <laughs> fan, and I think <laughs> a Rolling Stone gathers no Moss, so right. that'll do for me. Okay, and uh, what did you think, though, about the idea that it's about time for people to get more engaged look, when they write songs, yeah. not, not just about love and things like look, that? Look, there are yeah. you know, 101 million love songs all around the world. Um, Basically, Moss is a, is a band of mature age musicians, and uh, I was actually born at the start of the 70s. Uh, sorry, not born at the start. I was 12 at the start of the 70s and 21 when I uh, the 70s finished. So um, I was very much in that area where music was so impressionable, and those songs were very much about public commentary. And uh, So who are the favourite singer-songwriters that you like? Oh, I mean, people like uh, Rodriguez uh, and those sort of people, do you? Yeah, like it, look, yeah? you know, my inspiration has been people like uh, James Taylor, um, even Cat Stevens and, and Carole King, yeah. and in recent times, Boy and Bear, Jack Johnson, that sort of thing. And uh, we're a, a five-piece band, and um, we've tackled a lot of uh, very uh, topical social is issues. There's a lot of... Um, uh, unvarnished reality out there and uh, we are exposed to it even though not directly uh, we certainly are exposed to things like the tran transgender issue domestic violence in fact the, uh, our CD is, going, is called uh, Face the Music and uh, that features our, our main uh, song about domestic violence Okay, and you're going to be launching a CD at the Gov on the 7th of August so you're um, you're also got a song I understand about the idea of having uranium repository in South Australia. I mean, it must be the first song being written about that, is it? Do you think you're the first one? To, uh, I mean, there have been anti-uranium songs before, but you're, you're actually... Actually, this, it is, and uh, it's very interesting. Right. When, when I started to write this song, um, it's called What Were You Thinking? And uh, our, our national anthem came into, into mind about advancing Australia fair. And, uh, and that's certainly all about the, sen the sentiment in, in that is whatever we do today in Australia, we have to advance our our generations fairly uh, in the future and I've actually manipulated <laughs> That's interesting isn't it, is it a play, a play on the words because it's Advance Australia Fair yes. was I mean mm. the original intent of the word I suppose as in fair and beautiful isn't it mm. uh, uh, or do you well, think well, it was? Fair, uh, or fairly Equity or Equity uh, Equity Well generational yeah. equity I think was mm. uh, at the forefront of our minds Do you think the songwriter meant that though that it was about fairness or not? Well, well a Scottish I chap. Um, um, I certainly take a s advance Australia fair yeah. uh, as being advance it fairly okay. for our subsequent generations. And, mm. and that's how we've taken... Uh, and that. I've actually written the song as a person in the future talking yeah. to us. That's, that's why it's called What Were You Thinking? You're not going to sing that for us now, though, but can you tell us a little bit about it, yeah, the, the actual lyrics of that song? Well, the actual lyrics of the song, uh, the bridge, uh, like I say, manipulates the first verse of our national anthem when we talk about beauty, rich and rare, you know, unique. And, uh, in, and uh, in history's page, uh, did we blot the page or did we advance Australia fair? Mm. Good stuff. So uh, we've got Craig on the line. Craig has actually seen you play. Hello, Craig. G'day, Ian and... And Susie and everyone else. So, what, yeah, do, you what, what oh. do you what, what do you think about Moss? You've seen them play. Yeah, well, uh, Tegan and I did up at Club Cool back in April, and they were a bloody good band. <laughs> <laughs> to the point, That's they even great. did my favourite Midnight Oil song. Oh, did they? Oh, right. good on you, Craig. Thank you. And Craig, you're a regular at the Peters program, aren't you? I, I recognise well, sure your voice. Am. Yeah. So, so they were one of the highlights at your at your dance. Yeah, they were. So they, everyone got up and danced? Uh, a lot of us did. Yeah, good stuff. And, um, yeah, hope they come back to Club Cool one day. Thanks, Craig. Craig, we love performing for you. We always have a great time at Club Cool. So w how, how many uh, live gigs do you do at the moment as a, as a band? I mean, you're... You, I mean, well, you said you're mature age musicians, yeah. so I take it you've got, we all have other day jobs. You've got mm -hmm. day jobs. Yeah. We were doing two to three shows a week for a long time, and, and we're doing mainly covers. But uh, in the last 12 months or so, we pulled right back because we wanted to make this transition to start writing for ourselves. Oh. And, and 
we we wanted to quieten the noise and start to to i guess think of uh, new concepts and and i guess uh, i sit down with our keyboard player clive Clive Pollard and I generally have a session where we'll knock the music out. And, and have you all known each other for decades? Because I should point out to our listeners that, you're, you know, as you say, you're mature age musicians, so you've probably been well, yes. playing Between us for f- 40 years each, have you, or not been yes. playing? Yeah. Yes. And you've been playing together 40 years no. or not? No, no. 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 We've, no. we've come together in the last two, two to three, right. four, four years. Four, four years. years, yeah. Sue and I have been together four years and, okay. and, uh, and the others have, uh, have not uh, followed on not long behind that. So when so. you say you've been together, you're together, together. Oh, Sue so and I. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yes. Like so, you're a, you're a couple. Yes. We're a couple. Yeah, yeah, a couple. Yeah, right. And we do duos are. and things. Yes. But, but like Mark said, traditionally a cover band, but we've since started to to do our own thing, and this is something that uh, is really uh, interesting and so rewarding. I think you're going to play Bell. Uh, okay. But Bell is about um, uh, the, the the issues people who are transgender face mm. and uh, a friend of mine's uh, son uh, transitioned right. uh, at the age of 21 and I think um, we all come from an age where uh, the stage was our podium and lyrics were spe- speeches and that's kind of organically there anyway in in, in uh, musicians like ourselves. Well, when we talked to Ben and Fanning the other day he said that he felt that it was time that there were more people uh, using music as a vehicle to express ideas other than yes. just the, the love song. So let's have a listen to the song now. Uh, so this is your song. Uh, and Susie, you wrote it? Yeah, this That's is your. Correct. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. So Bell, here's Moss with Bell. Will you still love me when I change? Will you walk with me when my life is rearranged? Hold my hand, see it feels the same. Dry your eyes, no one's to blame. And it's just gone 16 past four or an 891 drive, and that was the local band Moss, uh, started as a cover band, and they're releasing their CD on the 7th of August down at the Governor Hindmarsh Hotel. 
And just before you, you head off, we've been told that John Sherman's a big fan. So are you going to get him to launch well, the album or not? No? Uh, John Sherman has been a terrific yeah. support to us. Um, I've known John casually over the right. years and with this pending um, uh, release, John very kindly uh, has uh, written some lovely words oh, okay. about it. I, I gave him the, uh, the, the demo tape and the words and... He, he said a lot of very kind things. And, of course, Red Gum and John Sherman yeah. really were at the forefront mm. of writing mm. songs with meaning. I'm Only 19 is legendary. And then we saw bands like Midnight Oil and that follow suit after John's efforts. And so he's got he's got a lot to be proud of in terms of his efforts in South Australia. All right. Well, you've got and it. Australia. All right. Well, I wish you all the best with your, uh, mm. your upcoming CD launch. And I'll just uh, say again, so that's on the 7th of August down at the Governor Hindmarsh. Uh, otherwise, I suppose just... Put Moss into a search engine. I suppose you've got a website, have you? Yeah, Moss Music. Moss Music. MossMusic.com.au. Thank you. Thank you indeed.